do what feels good. That's the advice that most people will give you when you ask them how you should go about your life. And thousands of years ago, that used to be great advice, because doing what felt good back then led us to pursuing water, shelter and finding food. But in the modern day, this doesn't apply anymore. Because society knows exactly how your brain works and has come up with all these modern addictions like social media, video games and porn. Doing what feels good in the modern day results you into destroying your health and you will start to chase cheap dopamine instead of real dopamine. When I was younger, I used to indulge in all these modern addictions. I used to play video games for hours, I would scroll on social media until my brain was fried and I would eat junk food like every day, basically. And I didn't really care because I was having fun. I was doing what felt good for me and what's wrong with that is what I always thought. But as I got older and I started to get more responsibilities into my life, like working a job, building relationships and taking care of my health, I realized that this was a lifestyle I couldn't maintain anymore. So then I grabbed myself by the balls and slowly but surely I started to chase more real dopamine instead of cheap dopamine. I didn't do what felt good anymore, but I started doing what felt right. And my life changed forever after that. If you want to know how I was able to make this transition so you can live a fulfilling life yourself, then stay tuned guys, because in this video I will tell you exactly what I did. So first of all, as I mentioned in the intro, there's cheap dopamine and there's real dopamine. So what exactly are these? So cheap dopamine is what you get from doing all the unhealthy bad habits like eating junk food and playing video games. These generally don't take you a lot of effort to do. And then real dopamine is what you get from doing the good habits, the natural and healthy activities like going to the gym and going outdoors and actually meeting people. These do take you a lot of effort to do. So the question here is that if both cheap and real dopamine will make you feel good, then why would you do the latter? Why would you want to work hard for something if you just can get it instantly instead? And it's exactly this kind of reasoning that is ruining your life right now. Because you don't see the harm in living a life like this. You think to yourself, I don't want to feel pain first and then only feel good after that. I just want to feel good all the time. But let me tell you a secret here. Nothing in life is for free. And if you keep doing these short-term pleasure activities instead of doing the good ones, life will eventually catch up to you and there's going to be a time where you will have to face the consequences of your actions. If you continuously choose to do the bad habits over the good ones, eventually you will be broke, you will be fat, nobody wants to date you and worst of all, you won't have the energy to do anything about this. And believe me when I say this, that this kind of pain is far worse than the pain you will get from doing the good habits at first, like going to the gym. And when you do the good habits, the benefits of these will also be better than the benefits from those bad ones, because it will not only make you happier in the short term, but also in the long term. So this is the point where you have to make a decision for yourself. Am I gonna choose for myself right now? Or am I gonna choose for my future self? The average age of my audience is around 25, I believe. So let's just imagine for a second that you're 25 right now and you're doing all the bad habits. I can imagine that if you turn like 30 years old in a few years, you will have all these small little addictions. You have no self-control and you still have to live life for like an, at least another 50 years before you pass away. So that means 50 years of misery, basically. Or you're someone that actually works hard on himself, you do the uncomfortable good habits like going to the gym and going out there and trying to meet new people and then eventually when you turn like 30 years old, you will reap the benefits of this, your life will be amazing and it will still be amazing for the next 50 years that will follow. So what do you want here? Have some pleasure for a while and then live a long and miserable future or be uncomfortable for a while and live a long and happy future? I'll leave that up to you. But you're still watching this video right now, so I assume you chose the latter. So now I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can start living your life in this way. So the single best thing that you can do right after watching this video to start living a life where you chase more real dopamine is called dopamine detoxing. This is a term you have probably heard a lot about before. So before you click this video away, I promise you that I won't tell you the exact same things as these other YouTubers tell you. I'm not going to tell you something like, oh, you have to go 24 hours without any stimulation because I know that's way too intimidating for most of you and you won't even give that a try. 
So what I want you to do instead is start dopamine detoxing, but you do it with one bad habit at a time. For example, from now on, you will stop playing video games, but you can still do all the other things. This way, it should be challenging enough for you to feel a difference, but not too challenging that you're not able to do it at all. So once you do this and you stop playing video games, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna feel like shit at first, because your brain will back you to go back because that's how addictions work. Your brain is used to getting that hit all the time and it still wants to get that hit. And at that moment, you have two options. The first one is going back to your old ways and you start to play video games again and you give your brain what it wants basically. But the second option is that you find a good habit that will give your brain the same hit. For example, I used to play video games a lot myself and the reason I love playing these games so much is because it made me feel like I was leveling up and improving myself. But of course this wasn't true because I was leveling up my video game character and not like myself. So when I quit playing video games, what I started to do is see my own life as a video game. I started lifting weights, I started eating clean and I started to improve myself. And because doing all of that fulfilled that specific need in my brain to improve myself, I never had a reason anymore to go back to playing video games. So what you have to do here is start thinking to yourself, what is a good habit that can fulfill the same need as my current bad habit? And once you figure this out and you start to incorporate that good habit into your life, that's when you can slowly start to do this for your other bad habits as well. Because like I said, this is already hard enough, so you're gonna do this one step at a time. So then, for example, you're gonna delete social media. You're gonna delete all the apps like Instagram, TikTok and Snapchat. And what you will notice then is that basically the same thing will happen. Your brain will once again start to back you to go back to that thing because it wants that hit. So once again here, you're gonna start to look for a good habit to replace this one with. For me, social media gave me a feeling of not being lonely all the time and having a lot of friends actually. So when I deleted all these apps, what I did is I started to go out more and try to meet more people. And once again, because doing that fulfilled that specific need of my brain, I didn't have a reason to go back to social media anymore. And once you go through this process yourself of doing this with all your bad habits one by one, what you will start to notice is that each bad habits of yours has a good replacement for it. Every version of cheap dopamine has a version of real dopamine. And what's interesting here is that the more bad habits you will start to remove from your life and the more real dopamine you will start to chase, the easier all of this eventually becomes. And that's because slowly but surely you are teaching and reprogramming your mind that it needs to work hard to get the reward. Social media was always a coping mechanism for me to deal with my loneliness, but when I deleted these apps, I was kind of forced to go out there and actually meet new people because I told myself that coping wasn't an option anymore. So what happened here is that eventually these good habits that were supposedly hard to do, they started to become more fun and easy to do. And you want to know why? It's because when you stop doing all these bad habits and you don't get cheap dopamine anymore, the only source of dopamine that your body can still get is from the real dopamine of doing the good habits. And this is the exact reason why our ancestors were so much better at doing hard work, getting into relationships, making friends, and just were so much happier in general. There weren't things like TikTok or video games back then. They didn't have a way to get cheap dopamine, so the only source of dopamine they had was from doing the hard work. They simply didn't have a choice. And if you can put yourself in a similar situation where you will abstain yourself from cheap dopamine, your body will naturally chase real dopamine instead. And believe me when I say that this is a way more fulfilling way to live your future life. But I do have to make a disclaimer here because as good as simple as this all sounds, it's a very hard transition to make and it will take you probably years to get to that point. Doing this step by step is definitely gonna make it a little easier for you here, but it's not a foolproof method. You're gonna still mess up a lot of times and you're gonna get pissed at yourself from messing up. And that's okay guys, because you gotta understand here that all these modern addictions are perfectly designed to keep you hooked. They are using your own brain against you and it's a very unfair fight. So that's why I want you to focus on playing the long game here. If for example you catch yourself playing video games again, then call yourself out there, but also forgive yourself and just get right back at it. 
because getting mad at yourself and beating yourself up here is only going to make things worse for you. So you have to be smart here and try to beat your own brain. There's addictions I've been trying to get rid of for years now and sometimes honestly I still mess up. But yet I'm still in a way better situation than I was years ago because I played the long game and I never gave up. And you can do that too. So to wrap it all up here, if you are currently not happy with the life that you are living and you want to secure a better future for yourself, stop chasing cheap dopamine and start chasing real dopamine. Don't do what feels good, but do what feels right. Use dopamine detoxing to get rid of your bad habits one by one and then start looking for good habits to replace those ones with. Habits that will fulfill the same needs of your brain. Doing this will make it easier for you to not go back to your old ways and stay focused and disciplined. And if you do this for long enough, you will train your brain that it needs to do hard work to get the reward and eventually doing hard work will become more fun and easy for you to do and you will start to make progress in your life and you will start to reach your goals. This is a beautiful stage to be in, but it's definitely not easy to get there and it might take you years. Playing the long game and staying consistent for as much as possible is the key here. So that's all I have to say for now. I hope this video helps you guys. And if you want to learn more, scroll down below and hit that subscribe button. It's a win-win for both of us. Stop thinking, start doing. Take care.